Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the development tools that will enable you to start developing applications for the RedSS RA2L1 MCU. I'll be showing you how to install E Squared Studio, the RedSS Eclipse based IDE uh, at the time of recording. The latest version is version 2021 01. As part of the installation process, I'll be installing the FSP, the Flexible Software Package. Again, at the time of recording, the latest version is version 2.3.0. And I'll be making sure that we install the GNU ARM Embedded Toolchain, version 9.2.1.2019.10.25. Now, there are later versions of the GNU ARM Embedded Toolchain, but the FSP has been written developed and tested with this version. So that's why we're going to make sure that we have this version installed. So with that in mind, uh, let's start the installation process. So to do this, we're going to start by visiting the uh, Renesas uh, website. So from your browser, if we enter renesas.com, You'll be uh, redirected to the uh, Renesas homepage. And on the homepage, from these five options being displayed at the top, we're going to select the products option. And from the displayed options, we're going to go to the microcontrollers and microprocessors and select the RA Arm Cortex M MCU link. Clicking on that will redirect us to the RA family uh, product page. And on this page, uh, in the middle, towards the bottom of what is being displayed at the moment, we have a link to the flexible software package FSP. So clicking on that link will redirect us to the flexible software package FSP page. On this page, you can see that we have a further two links. Uh, the first one enables us to download the latest FSP. The second link actually enables us to view all of the FSP releases and patch it on GitHub. And it is this second link that I would recommend that you use. So we're going to click on that. And as you can see, we have been redirected to GitHub Renesas FSP releases. And you can see here that the latest release is version 2.3.0. Now, being displayed here, we have uh, some release notes uh, telling us that this is the FSP for Renesas RAMCU version 2.3.0. Um, it is telling us that we can download the FSP with E squared installer uh, from this link here. Um, it's telling us that if you wish to develop with the IR or CAR MDK, then you can download the RASC, the uh, uh, Renesas Advanced Smart Configurator. And as you scroll down um, the page, then there are links to the tools uh, that we support, the links to um, additional plugins for E Squared Studio. Uh, these plugins enable us to develop uh, capacitive touch solutions, um, uh, BLE solutions, uh, links to E Squared Studio, uh, links to the uh, Renaissance Advanced. Uh, smart configurator. As you'd expect on GitHub on pages, uh, information about the features added to the uh, latest uh, release, uh, links to third party uh, software, links detailing any bug fixes, uh, known issues, and a link to our knowledge base that lists other technical information. Towards the bottom here, then I'd like to bring your attention to this link, which is for the FSP documentation. I would strongly recommend that you do uh, download this uh, documentation. It does have a wealth of useful information telling you how you can use the FSP and develop with it. 
and then moving on then we have information for previous releases but scrolling back to the top I'm going to be downloading this platform installer because what this is going to do is give me an executable that will install the FSP and e squared studio uh, at the same time so I'm going to click here and as you can see the download has begun it's a sizable file uh, 1.2 gig in size and on my current uh, internet connection it's going to take around six minutes seven minutes now I knew that this would uh, take a significant amount of time so I have actually uh, downloaded this uh, installer already so I'm just going to uh, cancel this download and I'm going to open up the uh, downloads page and here's the executable that I downloaded earlier. So to begin the installation process it's just a simple case of running this executable. When you start the executable, uh, it will uh, be extracted. Now, as you can see, this is going to take some time. So whilst it is extracted, I'm going to pause this recording and I'll be back when the extraction has finished. OK, as you can see, we are almost uh, complete in extracting the executable. And first things first, it is asking me uh, for which users I wish to install uh, E squared Studio for. I'm going to select the uh, all users option and on my machine to do that, I need to uh, enter my uh, admin password, which I am doing right now. And with that done, then the setup will continue. Just for clarity, I'm just going to minimize these uh, windows. Now, on my machine, I have several versions of uh, eSquared Studio uh, installed, and the installer has uh, detected this, and it's asking me if I wish to upgrade uh, any existing versions. Uh, I do not wish to do that. I'm going to install to a new uh, location. Now, obviously, if this is the first time you've installed eSquare Studio and you do not have uh, any previous uh, installs, then you will not see this screen. But as I said, I do not wish to upgrade any of my existing versions. I'm going to install to a different location. So select that and click Next. Now. The next screen, um, you can select a quick install, but I want to make sure that we select and install some specific components. So I'm going to recommend that you actually do a custom install. Uh, click Next. The installer is just uh, checking uh, the uh, location where you wish to install uh, eSquare Studio. Uh, at this point, if you wanted to, you could change uh, the location. Um, it's checked some prerequisites of already installed software. It's checked the um, internet uh, connection because um, obviously whilst installing it will need to uh, download um, some components uh, from the web but with that done we click next so at this point you could add some extra features uh, extended language uh, support uh, git integration some terminal software uh, artos support i'm not going to select any of those uh, Customized features, no, I'm happy with uh, the way they are. So again, I'm going to click next. But what I am going to do is check here with the additional software. I said that I'm going to make sure that we installed uh, the ARM embedded toolchain 9.2.1 2019 uh, version. Uh, so yep, that is ticked. So I'm going to uh, install that. I'm also going to, on this 
tab, the Renaissance QE tab, I'm going to select the QE for capacitive touch. Uh, RA201 uh, supports a capacitive touch uh, peripheral called the CTSU2. Um, and the QE tool enables you to develop uh, capacitive touch uh, solutions uh, in a very quick and easy uh, way. And I'll be doing a video on that later. So with that selected, I'll click Next. Obviously, I will accept the software agreements. And yes, create a shortcut in that menu group. It's now creating an installation plan and it is now ready to install. So we click the install page. Now, again, this installation process will take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to pause the recording again and I'll be back when the installation is near to completion. So as you can see, we're very close to the end of the installation process. Uh, it's currently installing the uh, CapTouch QE tools uh, plugins. And I do think, yes, we have now finished. So that is the development tools that will enable you to develop for your RA2L1 MCU complete. Uh, at this point, if you wanted to, you could read the release notes, read what's new, read the FSP manual, or you could launch E Squared Studio. But I'm just going to finish the installation process by clicking OK. And in later videos, I'll be showing you how you can actually start using E Squared Studio and FSP to start developing applications for the RA201 MCU. So until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.